Bhagavad Gita, verse 2.60 O son of Kunti, the senses, when agitated, can forcefully steal away the mind, even of a person who is endeavoring for liberation. Sar Ardhavarshini It is beyond the capacity of the sadhaka to have complete control over his senses while he is within the stage of practice. But the endeavor alone is commendable. To explain this point, Sri Bhagavan speaks the present verse beginning with Yathataha. Here, meaning of the word Brahmatini is those things that cause agitation. Sar Ardhavarshini Prakashikariti. The duty of a sadhaka is to endeavor very carefully to achieve control over his senses. One cannot become stita pragya without being sense controlled. The flickering senses are always agitated, and it is as difficult to have complete control over them as it is to control the wind. However, According to the instructions of Sri Chaitanya Mahababu, even this difficult task becomes very easy when one engages all his senses in the service of Sri Bhagavan. One can learn from the daily activities of King Ambarisha how to engage his controlled senses in the service of Sri Bhagavan. These are described in Srimad Bhagavatam. Srimad Bhagavatam 9.4.18 to 20. Ambarisha Maharaja always engaged in the worship of Sri Krishna by fixing his mind in remembering his lotus feet, by engaging his tongue in describing his name, form, qualities, and pastimes, his ears in hearing the topics of Bhagavan, his eyes in seeing Bhagavan's beautiful deity form, his sense of touch in experiencing the happiness of serving the feet of the devotees of Bhagavan, his nostrils in smelling the fragrant objects, such as the tulasi and sandalwood paste that had been offered at the lotus feet of Bhagavan, his feet in circumambulating his abode, and his head in paying obeisances to Bhagavan and his devotees. In this way, he controlled all his senses and engaged them in the service of Bhagavan. It is very beneficial and auspicious for sadhakas to follow this path. <laughs>